Hi, I'm Commissioner Andrea McGee. Welcome to Pompano Beaches District 1, where we have great restaurant options, beautiful brand new fishing pier, and in my opinion, the most beautiful beaches in Florida. After a year on display, we are so excited to welcome aboard the Pirate's Treasure Chest, the Lady Luck, part of our artificial reef system known as Shipwreck Park, a non-for-profit organization to enhance our reef system and bring public art underwater. And now I'll throw it over to Pompano Beach's mayor, Rex Harden. Thanks for being here, everybody. Appreciate, uh, appreciate the opportunity here to talk about our public art program. I, first off, I really want to thank our public art committee and the cultural affairs department for uh, the, putting everything together in our public art realm that we have here in the city of Pompano Beach. And of course, Laura Atria, our public art director, she does a tremendous job for us. Hi, my name is Laura Atria. I'm the City of Pompano Beach's Public Art Program Manager. We're here today to celebrate the addition of a new artwork that's going to be attached to the Lady Luck in Shipwreck Park. The artwork is entitled Pirate's Treasure Chest and it's by South Florida artist Donald Gillinella. I'm Donald Gillinella, the artist that created the treasure chest. I'm honored to be part of the Pompano Beach's Public Art Program amongst a group of talented and nationally recognized artists. It's a distinct privilege to be part of such a prestigious collection. I've been very fortunate to have my work installed in many different locations across the country, from hospitals, libraries, public spaces, parks, along the Monarch Migration Route in Missouri, on Route 66 in Arizona, but this was a chance to have a piece installed in a completely unique locale on the deck of a shipwreck off the coast of Pompano Beach. I was also motivated by the idea of contributing to the artificial reef ecosystem that helps support and sustain, sustain sea life off the Florida coast. It is truly an environmental piece of public artwork. Today, of all days, I'd like to thank Shipwreck Park. That's who's really made this possible to have this wonderful underwater can canvas that we have, known as Lady Luck. It, uh, it's, a, it's an underwater casino for dive, dive enthusiasts to come from all over the world to really participate in our, our diving program here in Pompano Beach. So I'd just like to thank all of them for their, their great help. For more details about all of our underwater art, I'm happy to introduce the chairman of Shipwreck Park, Rob Weyer. Hi, my name is Rob Weyer. I'm chairman of Shipwreck Park, Pompano Beach. We are a 501c3 not-for-profit organization and our mission is to raise the awareness of the importance of our natural reef system through the use of public art, conservation, and education. We're here to talk today about the art component of the Shipwreck Park mission. Uh, the city of Pompano Beach, the uh, Public Arts Department commissioned a piece of art that has actually been displayed on the beach just a little bit south of where I am today for the past year. The idea was to introduce that art to the public, let them see it uh, as it sat on the beach. We're going to take that treasure chest and deploy it onto the Lady Luck, which is just over my shoulder, about a mile behind me. Our mission with, with Lady Luck was to deploy public art as a way of improving the awareness of the need for our, uh, our ocean reefs and the artificial reef system that we're establishing. So this is our first deployment and we're really hopeful that uh, it goes well, and I'm sure it will. We've got some able uh, divers and, and folks working on it, and this is one of many to come. And yes, we've got the Lady Luck, our, our underwater canvas, and I'll tell you what, Pompano Beach really is a diving destination. We have got uh, the most beautiful water in the world, I think, and we've got something that is unique in the diving realm as far as the public art that we have down under for people to come from all over the world to Pompano Beach and spend their money to come here. And I'll tell you what, Pompano Beach is unique that we have a diving destination with a, a, a working casino, basically, with a lady luck down under. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for folks to come here and enjoy the, uh, the everything that Pompano Beach has to offer, and it wouldn't happen without public art. The city's public art committee started in 2013. Since then, we have created multiple permanent sculptures and artworks that are located throughout the city. Some of my favorite include the newest addition to the Cultural Center. It's a sculpture called Current by Zabo Works. We've also created an artist alley that features multiple murals throughout the alleyway. I'm sure you've also seen the utility box traffic wraps. They're located throughout the city and decorate our corridors with beautiful fine art. Hi, welcome to Pompano Beach. My name is Toby Acock. I am the co-chairperson for the city's public art committee. And you can see some art behind me. 
You may have noticed we have art throughout our streets here at Pompano Beach, but you may not know that we also have it just beneath our ocean, about a half a mile out. This program started in 2016, when Shipwreck Park, in association with other departments in this city, sunk a 324-foot tanker ship. There was artwork on the ship at the time that was helped to be funded by the Public Art Committee. This new project is going to add to that. The Public Art Committee plans on expanding on this exhibition by yearly. We actually have a new call to artists that will be posted soon, which will be advertised to create another artwork that will be placed at the beach for a period of one year before it is sunk and attached to the ship. When I first saw the Pompano Beach call for proposals to create a sculpture that would live at the bottom of the ocean, I was immediately intrigued. It seemed like an ideal opportunity to create something remarkable and unusual. The wheels started to turn immediately. The act of creating art is one of the few mysteries left in the modern world. It's hard to explain how I come up with an idea. It almost seems like magic. For this project, I was inspired by the fantasy of a diver exploring a shipwreck and then coming across an unplundered hoard of treasure at the bottom of the sea. It's what I dreamed about as a child, finding a pirate's fortune in gold ingots and Spanish doubloons. We were a part of the sinking of the, the Lady Luck ship, which already has art installed on it. And so beyond that, there's actually places on the ship where we can install new artwork. So every two years, the plan is to install a new sculpture on the Lady Luck after it sets on the beach for a year. It'll set on the land for a year so everybody can enjoy it, and then we move it to the ocean and attach it to the actual shipwreck. Well, it's, it's really about raising the awareness of the importance of the natural reef system. You know, our, 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 our reefs are you know, in peril right now for all sorts of reasons. We need the public to become aware of the importance of this reef structure. The, the deployment of artificial reefs, in this case, the Lady Luck, which is 324 feet long, uh, was to establish an artificial reef that would help take the pressure off the natural reef system, as well as provide a, a big uh, thousands and thousands of square feet of new environment for our, uh, our good friends, the fishes and the, and the corals offshore. It's common knowledge that salt water is hard on metal. You don't have to be a sailor to know that salt water eats through steel. That's why I chose to create the treasure chest out of aluminum, which fares much better in the caustic environment of the ocean. I paid a lot of attention to designing the hinges, the lock, and the handles all important accents that add to the authentic look of the chest. Why a treasure chest now in the Lady Luck? Well, the, the initial discussion about how we would decorate the Lady Luck was uh, a topic. The original partnership was a public-private partnership between the Al Casino and Racing here in Pompano Beach and the city of Pompano Beach. Mission accomplished. Thank you guys so much for joining us virtually. And we really appreciate everyone who's tuning in. I love sharing Pompano's beautiful public art collection that we have above land and in the sea.